Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Here uh, in Chattanooga, born and raised here in Chattanooga. Chattanooga's home for me. Uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful cities in the, uh, in the country. Of course, just like any other city, we've got our problems. And uh, I think the biggest thing that keeps me here is that uh, I want to factor in the equation uh, be a factor in the equation of ridding uh, this city of some of its uh, criminal element. Uh, and that's what keeps me going from day to day, uh, trying to make this place a better place. We've just been dispatched to a uh, day stay uh, motel here where we've got a robbery from person uh, that just occurred. The possibility of the suspect is still on the scene. Uh, we've got a car already on the scene, itself from another unit with providing secondary backup. Eight on the scene. You want me to resume normal? Only suspect if I've got is black male. What did the guy have on? He had a white t-shirt. I can remember white t-shirt, some short, short pants. What color? This, what, what, color what color shorts? Uh, some blue shorts. Okay. Some blue what shorts, kind of long room? hair. Room two thirty eight. Where I see him in. The person get right here. Well, let's stop right there. Is this? Now, knock on the door. There's doors moving. Doors moving. You being bound. You stay there, all right? All right. Careful not to put them in a crossfire, Dave. All right. 785, no residence, CIC. Chattanooga Police, open the door. Open the door. Watch that window right there. Yeah, watch that window, Dave. Doors moving. Come out! Come out! Your hands, who's all in the room with you? There's kids in there. Okay. You and your daughter? Okay. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands, hands up. Come out. Is there anyone else in there? Go back. Go Step back. Step towards that officer. Keep your hands up. Come back. Come back. Put your hands up. Keep your hands up. Go back. 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 Hey. Anybody else in there? Anybody else in there? Anybody else in there? Clear. Bathroom's clear. Uh, yeah, they uh, I've got a razor in the toilet and they've stepped standing on the Yeah, they just flushed it. Yep. Okay. Drugs. Put them in custody, everyone out. Female two. Female two. Yep, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Fine job, Philip. <coughs> I have called him hands off for nothing. Yep, put them all in, Justin. <coughs> put them all. 
Pipe still hot. Golly. <laughs> Razor in the toilet here. Three bags, of individually wrapped bags of crack cocaine. Uh, crack pipe is still hot. We've got a uh, razor blade, a couple razor blades probably used for cutting it uh, in the toilet here. How did we get to 238? They said they ran into 238. The victim, the vi our alleged victim, says he was walking back down towards his room uh -huh. when the suspect grabbed him and started to beat on him and then they fell into the victim's room. Okay. And that's the extent of his story, which is, we know he's What did he rob him of? He said crack? his rent money. My guess is he robbed him of his rent money and his crack. Because uh -huh. there's two bags of crack and a pure powder. So, I mean, the victim is... Right here. I don't know about no crack crap. I ain't had no crack crap. We had Mirandize, let me tell you. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. I know all that. Okay, well, look, I need to tell you anyway, okay? Uh, anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. Uh, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time once I start answering questions. Uh, you have the right to have an attorney present while uh, I'm questioning you. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. Uh, who does the crack cocaine belong to? It belongs to him. Okay, you're telling, me that, you're telling me that the crack cocaine that we found in your room, in your bathroom vent, belongs to him? I didn't know there was any in there. So we found a substantial amount uh, in the vent. You have no idea how the crack cocaine that was in the ceiling got there? I don't know nothing about all that. Okay, it had to be you or your, your wife or your daughter. My wife don't even know about no crack cocaine. So how come you, uh, Do you smoke crack? Have I? Do you? I have, yeah. You have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just, I, I needed to advise you that you are under arrest for that, okay? Well, good yeah. job on the other one. I find it hard to believe that you know about it, but you don't know about the other that was in the ceiling. Okay. A little bit more drugs off the street. Good job. A year ago, the city of Fort Worth was uh, devastated with a tornado. On a positive note, the city was able to unite and uh, we were able to rebuild. And uh, I think that's a good thing for the city that uh, even though with a, a tragedy like that, that the city can unite and just overcome. Got a vehicle here that was at a well-known dope house. The passenger was out making a deal through some burglar bar doors, and he just took off. We're going to investigate it. George 224. How you doing, sir? How you doing, ma'am? Can I see your driver's license and insurance, please, sir? Let me ask you to step out of the vehicle first, please. Is this young lady your wife, sir? Yeah. She is? OK. No. No? no? Yes, no, girlfriend. Why don't you step out real quick? I need to ask you a question if you don't mind, sir, if I can have your consent to do that. <clears throat> you can leave the vehicle off, sir. I just need you to step back over here. Ma'am, do you have any ID on you? I sure don't. I got a birth certificate. None at all? You got a birth certificate, but you don't have any ID on you? Could you do me a big favor for officer safety? Would you mind stepping out of the vehicle where I can keep an eye on you? Sir, I'm going to talk to you right over here, if you would, please. Step over there. <clears throat> right over here, ma'am. Come to the front of the vehicle. Come over here. OK, look. I'm going to talk to both of y'all, OK? I'm going to talk to you separately. Okay. If you're honest with me, I can be straight up. I can be lenient. Y'all try to play these name games or try to play different stories on me, I'm gonna take a different route, you understand? understand? I've been out here a long time, I know what goes on out here, so don't try to pull anything quick on me. Are we clear, that. sir? Do you understand what I said? He's been drinking. There's a dope house over there on that where you were parked at. I know it's a dope house, because I pull people over there leaving there, okay? That's all it is, they sell dope. This young lady was outside that front door making a deal or some sort. What were you doing there? Remember what I said about being lenient. What were you doing there? <clears throat> Michael? What? What were you doing there? You don't know? I'm asking you to tell me. Do you do narcotics? You use drugs? Just answer my question. I'm going to put you to the back of my car. 
Do you use narcotics? What is a narcotic? Dope. Yeah. What, what kind do you use? What kind do you use, Michael? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? I do. You do? Yeah. How do you, you shoot it, snort it, or what? I smoke it, man. You smoke it. Crack cocaine? Come here. What you gonna do, man? Calm down. Calm down. Relax. Calm down. How, long, Calm down. how long have you been using cocaine? Listen to me. Do you have any cocaine on your person right now? Yeah, you know what? You do? And no, you... I don't. I asked you and you said yes. Leave me alone. You said you had cocaine on you, Michael. Is there anything stuffed down your pockets? Huh? Does she have cocaine on her? No! I get don't search me. Do I have your consent to search you? Yeah. You do? Okay. Hold that for me. Come back over here, Michael. You leave me alone, man. Spread your legs. Please. I don't want Michael, your breath smells like you've got some serious alcohol on your breath, emanating from your breath, emanating from your person. It's coming from your clothing and on your breath. You sure you only had four or five beers? Huh? Look at me. You can turn around, relax. How much have you had to drink, honestly? I don't know, four or five. Four or five maybe. beers? Maybe. I don't know, maybe six. I don't know. Now it's maybe six. What do you have in your truck? Identify. 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 They also call this a straight shooter. That's what they do. They uh, put the crack rock in here. They put Brillo on the other end and use the Brillo, which you can see right there, as a filter to filter out the impurities when they're smoking the crack. Uh, you can see inside the pipe there's also residue, a white or an off-white residue. That is cocaine. That is a felony. Michael, I'm going to place you under arrest for possession of controlled substance. Penalty group one, that's a state jail felony, possession of that crack cocaine in that pop. And you need to place your hands behind your back, sir. You see your hand? Let go. See your other hand? Do you understand that, Michael? What you're under arrest for? Just come back here and have a seat with this officer. Chester, keep an eye on him real quick while I go look at her, please. Go over here and see what her story is now. Ma'am, is this your purse? It's your bag. You mind if I set it up here real quick? Thank you. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. We got here one, two, three, four crack rocks. The uh, crack cocaine was found in this uh, cigarette box, which was open, right there on the floorboard where this uh, young lady was seated. So this is going to put her within the immediate reach, care, custody, and control. Sunya, would you mind placing her under arrest, please? Oh, man, that is not my stuff. <sighs> Damn. Man, that is not fair. He set me up. He set me up, man. Ma'am, that cigarette box was right there where you were seated, I right there at your he feet. Put it there. Ma'am, is it within your immediate reach, care, custody, and control? I You're being help placed that. under arrest. You're not being convicted for it. Damn. Well, ma'am, you know, you told me a while ago you used any kind of drug when it's available. I haven't had any today. I haven't oh, had not any today? Yesterday. You had some yesterday? I didn't even have any yesterday. When's the last time you had drugs? Be honest it's with today me. Monday? Uh, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. I had some Sunday because it was my birthday. Oh, you had some because it was your birthday. Somebody gave me some, yes. Oh. Is that there kind of a birthday gift for you there or something? It was, man, he set me up. Well, you know what? Take this as a belated happy birthday. Happy birthday. Stringer, put it in the back of the car, please. Oh, She's Police officers, I like to help people, and that's one part. The other part is you always part of everything, everything going on in that city there. You're out there working. When other people are at home, you know, they're at home with their families, watching TV, having dinner, you know, they're going about their lives. 
I'm out here all the time. You know, and that's part of it too. It's you just get to be out here all the time with people. Uh, WMJ five years old, skinny, shorts, no shirt. Prime alert call that there's a male individual yelling, screaming, very uh, irate. Some for some reason he can't find his lost child. Uh, we haven't had any other calls on it or anything. Nothing from a victim or anything, but just that uh, standing in the corner, he only has lost his son, and we'll be pulling up here in just a second. Whenever we get a call of a lost child, every cop, doesn't matter you know, who it is, their hair just kind of stands on the back of their head. They're worried, they're concerned. You know, a lot of them have kids. Even if they don't have kids, they automatically start worrying. It's different when it's a kid, other than it's not like an adult. Kids can't always take care of themselves. There we go. Very concerned citizen here. See what she's got to say. Hi there. This man said that the kids were missing and he was running up and down the street yelling for him. Okay, where'd he go, ma'am? He went that direction on a bicycle. Went that way in a direction. Okay, you didn't see nothing else? No, but he was On a bicycle? Yeah, and he has a white t-shirt, a white tank top on. Okay, you didn't see what if he took a side street or anything, did you? No, I just saw him going that way. About how long ago? Uh, about five minutes ago. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry to bother you. Well, obviously it's something uh, real here. Um, 2070 calling. Yeah, I think we found the missing persons coming from uh, 139. Can I go ahead? Okay, well, so you have a call from 4222. 4222. They're missing a juvenile. I believe that's my dad that's out on his bike oh, looking yeah, for him. Uh, WMJ, five years old, skinny. Shorts, no shirt. Usually five-year-olds aren't supposed to go very far. Yes, sir, 42 hours. Five years of age. Missing five-year-old. Hi. Is it you? Yes. My little boy, we sent him off to the room to play. We're down here inside. Uh-huh. And uh, he jetted out of the house a matter of five minutes, and boom, I cannot find him nowhere. 4104 Okay. I mean, I've been looking everywhere for him. I've got other people out looking that for him. I mean, we're White just going male, out. juvenile. Five years? Yes, he's five years old. I'm thinking he's really heading down towards my house. All he's got on is a pair of shorts. He ain't got no shirt on. He ain't got no shoes on. Where's your house? Huh? Where's 3716. Would he know enough to go, go over there? He knows his way. He knows his way home if he wants to go home. I'm Michael. Your uh, boy's right down here, boy or girl. My boy? Yeah. Where? Dude, I've been sitting here somewhere Where? to the left. Right up, he come down the hill and then... Uh, slowly cruise that little thing, because you're not supposed to be on down the street anyway, but I slowly know, cruise it, we'll right follow you. Yeah, I think we found the missing person's coming from... Hey, go ahead. And chop in the back for me. 327. 327. I think we're going to find him. Somebody here has taken me over there to uh, where the child might be. We'll see here. Is this? Yeah, that's him. There we go. Everybody found a child. Oh, he's grounded. Yeah, disregard. Oh, Sounds like he's grounded, grounded, but uh, so long. we got him. He's fine. I got Dad here. What are you doing? What's your name? I want to go home. My name is Dustin. You, you can't Justin. take off like that, bud. I want bud. to go home. Then you shouldn't have let me know him. And when somebody came back, I would have took you home. You can't take off like that, boy. You had us scared. He's in good hands with you, buddy. You say he lived in a black household. <laughs> okay. So I just started oh, stomping on the house. Don't touch. It's hot. Don't touch it. You know what? You, I, you're already in trouble anyway, and you're just adding to it for the night. Oh. You're just adding to it. Where do you have to go? You go back up here? No, I'm staying here. They're going to take Are you me staying here, then? You going to be OK? Well, Daddy, yeah, I'll be OK. Leave me. Uh, you know, you're going to be in the room until Daddy's ready to go home. When Chanda gets back, we'll see if she'll take you home, OK? Oh, goodness. you got to wait till Chanda You're in so home. much trouble. Listen here. He's got a pink Cadillac, and he's dusting with the D, bud. <laughs> he's dusting with the D. When I yell at him, he don't know how to answer. But I've been walking up and down these streets yelling at you. I told you everywhere. Oh, I know. I see the whole. You know better hey, than not to answer me. Dustin, 
Dustin, do you know who I am? You don't know I'm a police officer? Okay, well, I'm a police officer, and usually I'm here to help you, okay? I want you to remember that, too, okay? Yes, I got a sticker, but you got to listen to me. You got to do what your dad says, okay? Okay, do you know how worried everybody is? Is this sinking in? Is it sinking in? Dustin, you know, like not if, the, you, if you understand what I'm saying. Dustin, you still get a cop sticker. <laughs> of course, you're in trouble. Thank you. Of course, you're in trouble. You're welcome, bud. I'm going crazy, bud, and finding my last option. I'm bud, I see your phone. I got to call the cops. Now, one thing. You ever going to run away from your dad? You gonna ever run away from your dad? <laughs> the answer is no, Dustin. Okay, all right. Dustin says he's not running away again. Oh, uh, like you said, you called, did the right thing. Okay, call right away next time. Sounds like he moves fast, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He moves fast. We're hoping he didn't go too far. Okay, I appreciate you taking it easy, okay? Well, hey, I booked the right side for 40. Bye, Dustin. It's room time. Let's go.